Anyone out there who's like, what's a familiar? Here he is. <laughs> Hi everyone, today I'm going to continue my bookshelf tour. It has been a while since I made another bookshelf tour video, and I still have like at least 30 books I haven't shown you guys. <laughs> and again, I'm sorry if the sound is weird, it just started pouring, um, which I'm very happy about personally. <laughs> but if the sound is weird, it's because of the rain. Um, blame the earth, not me. But today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the books that I have on Lilith and on Hecate. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions, DMs, comments saying, are there books about Hecate? Are there books about Lilith? Please help me learn more about these deities. So these are the books that I have. I don't have that many simply because there aren't that many books about Lilith especially. Um, there are some about Hecate, but either way there aren't that many about either of them. Uh, so these are the ones I have and I'm going to share them with you guys today. Hopefully they're helpful and you guys can pick them up if you want and they can help you learn more about these deities. And before we get started, uh, again, thank you to all my new subscribers. I've received a lot of new subscribers lately. I love each and every one of you and I'm so thankful for your support. So thank you for subscribing to my channel. And if you are subscribed to my channel, please go follow me on Instagram so that we can stay connected and that I can communicate with you guys more. So let's get into this bookshelf tour. So we're gonna start with books about Lilith. So I have three books about Lilith, and these three books are hard to find. Um, one of them isn't too hard to find, but the other two, I scoured the internet for these. Um, but the first one is The Magic of Lilith, Calling Upon the Great Goddess of the Left Hand Path. And this book is honestly pretty great. It has some history about Lilith, but it also has a lot of rituals that you can do with Lilith. Things like binding, um, asking Lilith for strength, um, asking Lilith for protection, dealing with enemies and having Lilith help you deal with that. Um, sexual work with Lilith because Lilith is a lot about sexual empowerment. Um, so there are a lot of rituals in this book that are honestly the main reason why I love this book. Um, and it's a thin little book. Um, it's not, you know, a huge guy. It's just a little, little fella. So that's the first book I have on Lilith. Again, just a little short kind of info about her in, this, in the beginning, and then the rest of the book is rituals. The next book I have on Lilith is called Lilith, Goddess of Citra Ahra. And this book is a little bit thicker than the other book, so it's got a little bit more meat to it than the other one. And this one is much more um, really just interesting. Um, there's a lot of information about Lilith herself um, and the different aspects of Lilith. And as I talked about in my Lilith video, I've made videos about Lilith and Hecate, so if you want to check them out, they'll be in the Dropbox. Um, but like I said in my Lilith video, there are a lot of different religions and cultures who have Lilith in their mythology. Um, and she appears a little bit differently in each one. Uh, so Lilith has many aspects and sides to herself and is known by many people as different things. Um, and this book does a really good job of addressing that. It talks about the different cultures and how they view her and the history in different cultures. And then it does have some prayers and some hymns to Lilith. Um, it talks a little bit about working with her in different rites, um, but this book is mostly informational. Um, there are invocations for Lilith in here, so if you're wanting to know more about how to invoke Lilith, this book is really great for that. So this next book that I have to show you guys is kind of a Lilith and Hecate book, um, and other goddesses as well, such as Nyx. Um, and a couple others I believe are in here also. But this book is called Mysteries of the Dark Moon, The Healing Power of the Dark Goddess. This book honestly is one of my favorite books that I have. Um, it's exactly what it says it is. It's all about the dark moon and dark goddesses in relation to the dark moon. So this book has a lot of great information about Hecate and Lilith and other dark goddesses. Um, so if you feel called to dark goddesses or the dark phase of the moon, this book is an essential and I would definitely say pick it up. Um, and this book is much thicker. This is more of a substantial book. Um, the other two are more almost like leaflet-y and this one is like, she a book. The rain is really picking up. 
But this book is really great because not only does it talk about those goddesses and how to work with them on the dark moon, but it also talks about the dark moon itself, um, the potentials of the dark moon, the correspondences of the dark moon, what you can do on the dark moon to do shadow work and honor yourself, honor the dark goddess. So this book is just really great if you want to know more about the dark moon and about all goddesses associated with the dark moon. Now moving on to books about Hecate. The first book I have is not technically about Hecate, but for me it very much so relates to my Hecate practice. And this book is called Gifts of the Crow, How Perception, Emotion, and Thought Allow Smart Birds to Behave Like Humans. So the reason that I include this in my Hikate books is because Hikate is very strongly associated with crows um, and I feed the crows once a week in my front yard. So this book for me helped me to connect with crows um, and through crows connect with Hikate. So this is more of me nerding out about birds um, and it's you know it's kind of the same size if not a little bit smaller than the Dark Moon book but it's a good size book. And it's more about crows in general. And honestly, it's just really interesting, um, especially if you are someone who's weird like me and wants to have relationships with your neighborhood crows. Um, so this book's really great for connecting with Hikate through crows. Now I have four specifically about Hikate books. The first one is called Hikate, Keys to the Crossroads. And this book is, in my opinion, an essential if you work with Hikate. This book has a lot of really great personal essays by the author, invocations, rituals, prayers, um, recipes, testimonies from people who work with Hikate on how to work with Hikate. Um, so this is just very informational and very, very helpful if you're practically trying to work with Hikate. And this book is small, but there's a lot of information in this book. The font is small and it's just packed full with juicy tidbits about Hikate. So I would say this book out of all the Hikate books is the most essential. Next is Hikate, a devotional. This book is small. It's more like the little Lilith books I showed you guys. So this is a little book with just a little bit of information. And this is kind of more um, beautiful pieces of writing that have to do with Hikate. Um, so it's kind of exactly what it says. It's a devotional to Hikate. So there are little stories with Hikate in them. There are little poems with Hikate in them. There are kind of prayer-esque things with Hikate in them. And these are things that I personally like to use, honestly, to read to Hikate as offering, um, but also for artistic inspiration. Um, sometimes I use them for Depnon. Uh, so there are a lot there's a lot of really good information in this book but this book isn't necessarily an essential it just kind of enhances your relationship with Hikate. The next book is Hikate Liminal Rites. Um, actually the same person who wrote this book that I told you guys about before Hikate um, Keys to the Crossroads that I said is kind of an essential for anyone who works with Hikate she wrote this book also but with someone else so I would say this book is also super helpful if you work with Hikate or you're trying to work with Hikate and this book is a little bit thicker than the other ones um, but this book is really just honestly a more advanced version of this first one I showed you Keys to the Crossroads this one, Liminal Rights, is kind of the next step up from that. So if you're going to buy the first one, maybe also buy the second one. Um, and then you can kind of combine the knowledge of the two. The rain is so loud. <laughs> We're getting fully blessed and cleansed. But this book is really great. It talks about the origins of Hikate, talks about different aspects of Hikate, working with Hikate, um, symbols and uh, charms for Hikate, things like that. Um, also has invocations for Hikate, talks about Depnon in this book also, so if you're wanting more information about Depnon. And there is a vlog about Depnon coming up. I am filming it in a week. I was supposed to film it last Depnon, but then Hikate said she didn't want to be filmed that Depnon, so we're filming this Depnon. Um, but I will be posting that vlog soon. But this book also talks about Depnon. And then the last book I have about Hikate is The Temple of Hikate, Exploring the Goddess Hikate Through Ritual, Meditation, and Divination. This book, honestly, is 
really great. I like almost want to take back what I said about the other two because this one is just as delightful. Um, this one's a little bit bigger. It's like wider. Um, and it's about the same thickness, but because it's wider, it's got more information in it. But this book really just covers everything about Hikate. Um, there isn't too much history of Hikate in it, but there's a lot about Hikate as a Greek goddess and in Greek religion. There's also a lot about um, working with Hikate. There are rituals in this book. There are invocations in this book. It talks about the altar of Hikate, um, talks about symbolism for Hikate, really just goes through if you want to do divination with Hikate. Um, just has a lot of really great um, ways to practically work with Hikate. So this book is also really great for followers of Hikate. So those are all my Lilith and Hikate books. I hope that these were helpful. I know a lot of people have been asking me these questions, so I'm so happy to be able to give you guys this information. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you found it helpful and enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon. Blessed be.